Where exactly are we trying to escape from? I don't know. Up until this morning, I had no idea that a portion of Texas was owned by a psychotic killer. Well, this is America. I guess everything is for sale. I'm beginning to realize that. So, what's your name anyway? Me? Alice. Alice Williams. And yourself? Storm Adams. My mother told me it was rainy outside the day I was born. It's better than sunny, I guess. So you're Alice, huh? Can I call you Al? No. I guess you're not into the retro butch male-female name thing. Correct. Our best bet is probably to head north and keep on going. But isn't that where they probably expect us to go? I don't think so. They know that we know that they expect us to go north, so I bet they think we'll head south. You're sure you're not thinking too hard on this one? This isn't an economics assignment on game theory. No, I'm right. If there's one thing I'm good at, it's knowing what people think. And knowing how to betray their expectations. Obviously, a trained marksman of his skill is going to require special attention. I'm beginning to think he must have spent some time in China learning the martial arts. Those men were some of my best. I've heard it was a guy like him who took down Blake's business over near Corpus. Someone told me that guy was indestructible. If it's the same guy, we've got problems. We need to find out who sent him. Thank you very much for the report. Please leave me alone now. So we've got some sort of ninja on our hands? I pay them to take care of problems. Why can't they just do their job? Maybe you don't pay them enough. It seems that if you want anything done right, you have to do it yourself. I don't even trust other people to make the pistols I shoot. Sure, the guns I make may look crude, but they're extremely powerful, and I can count on them working. If they don't work, I can only blame myself. You can count on me. Well, that's nice to know. Of course, you're also, what, 10 years old? I hired you because I know you're bright and I could count on you regardless of your age. That's how I do business. That's why I'm successful. I own this part of Texas. Everything is mine, from the children to the sanitary system. You can count on what you own. Buy everything even if it's not for sale. Remember that, Brains. I'm curious, though. Who is this man who is giving me so many problems? How is he connected to Richard? There are too many questions. What fun is power if all you can do is kill people with it? Well, okay, that is pretty fun. But right now I want information. I'll tell the men not to kill this ninja of ours. I'd like to have a little chat with him. I think some stimulating conversation could really brighten up my day. I won't talk to him. He's got a fat head. What does that have to do with anything? People with fat heads can't be trusted. You're just being paranoid. What difference does the size of a person's head make? The size of someone's head is extremely important. The brain sends out carrier waves to adjust the size of their head depending on their self-image. People who lie have low self-images, and so their brains increase the size of their heads. It's a proven scientific fact. They call it the Pinocchio Theory. It's been in the textbook since the 70s. This just goes to show how little the American educational system teaches its students. Ed, that's just a ridiculous idea. You just made that up. I did not. You should pay more attention to things in life. I mean, think about it. All the dishonest people you know have big heads. All the honest people you know have little heads. You think that's just a coincidence? You've got a lot to learn about how the world works. Thanks for the input. What's the latest on Swift? It seems like he's made a new friend. Some guy apparently has caught his attention. I found this email Swift sent out to his men. This guy sounds pretty dangerous, at least to Swift. This message said he had long blonde hair and likes to wear a great trench coat. Oh yeah, apparently he also carries a wrench around with him. What does he use it for? 
I don't know. Maybe he has a metal fetish. The message said they think he's probably some kind of mercenary or assassin. If that's the case, it means Swift has got enemies, and any enemies of Norman Swift are friends of ours. I think that maybe we should try and find this guy. We could help him, and he could help us. After all, we probably know more about Swift's operations than anyone else. Besides, it would be fun. We might even get ourselves killed. Cool.